We're going to start today's video by taking a quick look at the ASICS JB Elite version 2.0. I've had these about three years. You can see that a lot of the grip is, especially on the outside of the foot, is pretty much gone, especially on the heel. Uh, but all the stitching has held up really well. These shoes have been very durable for me, and I've got a little ton of use out of them. Look, starting to get bare right here. Totally gone on this left heel. Interesting wear patterns on these ones. But today, I've got the version 3.0, and these are really sharp. I don't know why they're so cheap on eBay right now, but I saw them in black on black, and I always got to go with simplicity. I don't know if you can see very well the way the grip is on these but 100% all there. These little grippy bumps are pretty big. I'm gonna wear them today for squats. Just think they're really attractive shoes and I'll never see them quite this new again. So I don't know whose signature that is, but yeah, it's really tough to beat these for the price tag. And uh, I'm gonna give them a shot right now. I don't know how this lace holder is gonna work out if I even use it. Let's check it out. I've been very impressed by the build quality on the version 2 JB Elite. I've worn them outside mowing the lawn and outside all over the place. That's one of my criteria for one of these utility lifting shoes is that it be durable and it not be so heinous that I can't wear it out of the house without being a spectacle. Because, yeah, I want to get the shit on sale, but... I don't need a pair of gold shoes. I don't want a pair of shoes that's covered in spades or graffiti or they're red and blue and yellow and they have star spangled laces on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'll wear a pair of bright canary yellow shoes, but do I have to? So when I saw these come up black on black with the cool clear soles, yeah, two pairs, pull the trigger, $40 a piece. You cannot beat it. And in size 13, that's important too, finding them in your size. Now, because they're athletic shoes, they do fit tight up front. They do pinch my feet a little bit. I wish they were a little bit wider. It just takes some time to break them in because of the type of shoe that it is. Uh, being an athletic shoe, it really needs to have a snug fit. So you got to appreciate that. Uh, it's my second favorite, favorite pair of shoes to squat in. I love this new version 3 pair and... They're good looking. They look like regular shoes. I wear them out of the house and nobody would even know that I was wearing wrestling shoes. Black on black kicks ass. So this was just a top set kind of squat day. I do log all my squat days, but I don't upload them all to public because the shit gets a little redundant. I do a lot of volume with legs. Your legs can take it. Low RPE shit. I got to stay loose. Can't get too stiff. Hope you guys are training strong. Thanks for watching.